Um, um, yeah, I had I got all my shit set up and I had planned on doing some reactions today, but my mind is definitely elsewhere, bro. Real shit. And like, I've been pretty outspoken about all these things that have been happening recently to you know our community. When I say the black community, our community just in general over here, and all this racial tension and police tension, police brutality, whatever you guys want to call it, man. But like this time, I was just I I had no words. I I literally I I had no words, man. But like, what what else can be said? What what else can be said? What else can be done? What else can be displayed? What what protest can be done? Whose attention do we have to get? Whose teeth do we have to pull to bring it into this shit, man? And it's just, it's just an ongoing cycle. It's just an ongoing cycle. I think I said it before, man. Like, you get numb to it. Like, oh, for real, somebody else got shot by the police. Oh, for real. But then, like, I can't, you, can't, you can't look at it that way, man, because that's someone else's life being potentially taken away unjustly. And I mean, taking that into consideration, there's nothing. There's nothing that I can say that's going to, you know, open the eyes of whomever need those eyes open in regards to this issue. Like, if if what's been done up until this point, you know, publicly or within your friends or within your family, within your inner circle, like whatever whatever's been done up to this point or whatever conversations you've had up to this point and and you you still have your blinders shut you still have your eyes closed to what's going on in this world you're part of the problem it's either you choose not to believe it or you just turn the blind eye to it and i can't really focus on doing the Reaction right now because I'm too distracted. I got too much shit going on in my brain in regards to all this shit, man. Like, I'm just, I don't know, more worried or more focused on or, you know, inquisitive or curious towards the people that are going to try to legitimize what those officers did to Jacob Blake. Gonna be a bunch of them, gonna be a whole heap of them trying to legitimize what the fuck they saw. And like, I mean, I try to do my due diligence and researching, you know, what took place that day that put him in that position and why the police were there and and like what exactly what he was doing. But all that shit don't even fucking matter at the end of the day. It don't even fucking matter at the end of the day, man. It don't matter if if it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Unless he just finished murdering somebody or he was uh likely to murder someone else, then no, it doesn't matter what the fuck he did. It doesn't matter what the fuck he did. That motherfucker got shot seven times in the back in front of his fucking kids. There's nothing you can say or do or show me that's going to legitimize those police officers' actions. I mean, whatever's, whatever's, whatever that's going to happen to those police are, is going to happen to them. But this is more for the people, like I said, who try to legitimize, who are going to try to legitimize those officers' actions. And if you try to do that, if you try to say he shouldn't have resisted, or you try to say he put himself in that position, or you try to say whatever the fuck you try to say to to legitimize those police officer actions, you are part of the fucking problem. It's motherfuckers like you that, that keep this cycle moving. It's motherfuckers that, like you that spread that stupid ass mentality elsewhere and that shit bleeds on to other weak-minded individuals man if that was your fucking daughter if that was your fucking son if that was your fucking brother if that was your fucking cousin if that was your fucking father you would not be feeling that fucking way 
he wouldn't be like, uh, he shouldn't have put himself in that motherfucking position. Fuck that. Fuck that. And that's how, ironically enough, it's the, the, the individuals in the black community that discuss these type of situations amongst ourselves. We try to say you need to act a certain way around police to not put yourself in that position. We know that, but at the end of the day, is that fair? Is it fair for us to fucking have to move like that and no one else have to move like that? Shit is crazy, man. I said I, I said in the last video I uh, put up discussing shit like this. I'm gonna say it again. It, it's it's not gonna be the last. It's gonna continue to fucking happen, bro. <laughs> like how is that even? How is that even? How can someone even fathom that as being the right thing to do? Like how do you how do you justify that? How do you justify that? Popping somebody in the back. That in the back. He wasn't, he didn't have no weapons. He wasn't acting, he wasn't acting aggressive. He wasn't acting aggressive towards them. He was walking away from them to his fucking car. I mean, there's reports on, you know, what he supposedly was doing. But at the end of the day, he didn't have shit on him. He was walking away towards his fucking car. Tase the motherfucker, tackle the motherfucker, do something but to pull the fucking pistol out and just do that? Oh my God, bruh. And it's, it's about to be the, it's about to be it's about to get ugly again. It's about to get ugly again. Dumbass police keep putting themselves in the situations and they 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 Y'all doing damage to society, man. They're going to say, well, it's going to be rioting. It's going to be more people dying. It's going to be more property being damaged. More people getting fucking arrested. And uh, people are going to say, well, I mean, it's wrong, but this isn't the right way to go about things. What's, what's the fucking right way to go about things? Motherfuckers is mad. Motherfuckers are mad. They do crazy shit. They don't think rationally. And you got the, I mean, that, that can be taken elsewhere with the whole, anyway. I'm not about to be talking about conspiracy or whatever the fuck. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers is mad. They about to get mad. They about to get mad. Or this shit ain't. <laughs> After all this shit just happened, this motherfucking cop think it's cool to shoot this fool in the back seven fucking times. How many motherfucking shots it was? If he shot him fucking once in the back, he shot him in the back. If it wasn't a cop and somebody shot somebody in the back seven times, they'd be... In custody right now. They place these fucking cops on administrative leave and won't release their identity? Bro, what? Where they do that at? Where they do that at, bro? Well, I mean, like I say, in regards to the issue, man, like I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Police brutality, racism, racial tension, whatever you want to call it, I'm not even here to speak on that. That that has been beaten with a dead horse. Either you with it or you ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? Either you with it or you ain't with it. You for it or you against it. You live in the right way, you live in the wrong way. And this video was for y'all. This is for yours. It's for those of y'all who are part of the problem. Who are going to who are going to try to legitimize this shit. Oh, uh, he had a previous criminal record. Oh, uh, he fucking beat his girl up before. Oh, he fucking was in jail six years ago. Oh, this, that, and the mother. Man, fuck that. Fuck that. And I'm just, I, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if that's the case, but every time some shit like that happens, they try to assassinate whomever it was who fell victim to the police hands. They try to assassinate that person's character. They try to do what they can do to bring this shit down where people don't take his life serious. They they tried. They tried to legitimize him not being here no more by his previous, his previous criminal history, and tried to you know protect the fucking officers. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you came here for some motivational information, some inspiration or some shit, this ain't the video for you. I'm fucking frustrated, man. Just like a lot of other motherfuckers is frustrated. I'm fucking frustrated, man. Frustrated and numb at the same time. That's such a contradiction. You're numb to it.
numb to it. Another black man being gunned down. Being gunned down for whatever reason, but the reason is not just. Whatever reason it is, it's not just. Talking about killing somebody. Talking that supposedly he paralyzed from the waist down. He he a fucking survivor. He a, he he a, he a rider. He he a rider for real. I hope he get everything. I hope he gets whatever he wants throughout this fucking process. Like sue the fucking draws out the police department. Sue the fucking officer civilly. Fucking go at his go after his ass criminally. Do all that shit, man. Drop the motherfucking hammer on all these motherfuckers, man. Just I don't, I don't understand someone's brain. Why do you feel like that's okay? He's walking away. He's walking to his car. He opened the door, and I'm gonna shoot this motherfucker seven times. Hmm. Anyway, man. Uh, I don't know. Try to do some fucking reactions today, but I don't know, man. It's gonna be monotone as a bitch because that shit. Been uh, weighing on me a little bit, man. Nah, not even a little bit. It's been weighing on me a lot of motherfucking bit. Supposed to just go on and act like everything's normal. And I would understand if someone did do that because we hear about this shit all the fucking time and nothing's being done about it. Nothing's being done about it. Hey man, the day of reckoning is covered, bro. For real, bro. Motherfuckers gonna start tripping for real, dog. Motherfuckers gonna start tripping for real, for real. Mm hmm. Anyway.